If you're wondering how to make new brushes for Adobe Fresco, then keep watching this video. All right, now that I have your attention, know that in this video, we are going to use the app Adobe Capture to create amazing and unique new brushes for Adobe Fresco. Adobe Fresco is an app to do sketching and drawing and uh, do illustration in um, pixel brush or vector brush. And you can also now animate your drawing right through the app. So that's really cool. This is a tutorial for another day. Today, we are going to make special brushes that we cannot find in the app that we need for our drawing and that we can absolutely create using Adobe Capture. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. In here, I love to talk about graphic design, productivity, and I always enjoy teaching you how to use certain apps related to those fields. Now, if you like this video or any of my other videos and all the free info I give you every Sunday, there are many ways you can support me and my channel. You can like this video, you can subscribe to it right now, or you can simply buy me a really nice coffee. Everything is linked down below. And once again, thank you so much for your support. So let's dive deep into Adobe uh, Fresco and Adobe Capture. So what will you need to follow along with me in this tutorial? What are the tools you need? First, you will need a tablet. Whatever uh, tablet you're using, Windows, Apple, that supports Adobe Fresco and Adobe Capture, you will need to have it with you. I am using an iPad Pro 11 inch 2020 with a Apple Pencil. Second, you will need to find some texture to convert into a brush. That's what we're gonna do in Adobe Capture. There's a multiple website where you can find those textures, so just look for it. I will link some. Uh, you can use Envento Elements, which are free and pay resources. You can use seed like Pexels and Splash Pixabay to um, tap texture into the search bar and find images with texture to use as a brush later on. So make some research, download texture of your choice. We're going to do this together anyway so you can see what texture I'm going to get. I'm going to go into Invento Elements to do so. so. Let's go into the iPad, let's download two textures and let's go into Adobe Capture to make it. Okay, so I am in Invento Element right now and so what I'm going to do is I'll go into the search bar and just search for texture. And now as you can see, the first one is a texture photos. This is exactly what we want. Let's uh, choose the texture of pink hair here. So I'm going to download it and we're going to do another one. Let's do the stone texture. Okay, so now we have a two texture from the web that we're going to transform into brushes. But I wanted to show you another way you can make your own brush by drawing shapes. I have a piece of paper which is white and I have a marker that is black. And we are going to draw like little spiral or something to make a brush. What kind of brush you would like to make with the little illustration you're going to make here. So let's do this quick. I'm gonna make some square. So as usual, we have a beautiful setup. Um, so here is what we are going to do. We are going to make our brushes in Adobe Capture using the two texture that we find online. And then we are going to make the, the one that we drew uh, on our piece of paper. And we are going to start by opening Adobe Capture. All right, so here we are into my iPad. I'm going to look for uh, Adobe Capture. So uh, here it is. So we're going to open it. And here are a couple of brushes um, that I made that are now into Adobe Fresco. I made this one, which is a drawing of me and I did some hurt. And so now I made this brush. So we're going to do the same with this one over here. Okay, 
so let's get started so when you open the app um this is not what you're gonna get you're probably going to be into discover or into your library with different material you have or if it's the first time you open it obviously you will need a creative cloud account this is um free to create one so i will leave a uh, link down below for you to be able to do this, but you need a Creative Cloud account to uh, your project anytime and save them. Open your Creative um, Cloud account with Adobe Capture, uh, login, and then to make a brush. I have my all assets here of brushes. So if I go there, I can see all my uh, CC libraries uh, and I have uh, quite a few. And I made one library, this is, that is called brushes. So it knows this is brushes, obviously. And that goes into um, my Adobe uh, Fresco app. So I want to add a new brushes. So I'm going to go into the plus and I'm going to import an image. And we're going to import the image that we found online. So we're going to start with the pink one. So I'm going to go from my camera roll. This is going to be our brush, right? So here on the side, it says looks, pattern, or brushes. We are creating a brush, so we're staying on brushes. This slide over here is going to take some part of the picture out. So it depends on uh, how you want your brushes to look. We are um, either going to go full or either going to take off a little bit to give some texture to our brush. We can also add some exposure, highlights, shadow. You can make some changes. You can edit the picture. Now you can also take off a color. So if I click on this minus point, I'm gonna have this select tool, I'll say. And every time I'm going to hover over a color, it's going to take off the, this particular color. Keep it as it is like this. And now we're going to press the check mark. That means that we did all the edit we wanted on this picture. We're going to try to make a brush with this. So check mark. So here is a different style that Capture is making for you. So you can have it this way. You can make even a vector brush out of this um, brush that you, that, that's gonna be vector, that means it's not pixelized. So you can scale over and over and over and you're not gonna see any pixels. So you can make this, this is another preset using the texture uh, you can make this a brush if you'd like we're going to do a pixel brush and we're not going to use any of those presets we're going to use a fresco ribbon brushes so i kind of like this so you can see the effect that this is how your brush is going to look like you can choose to have it in black and white let's use this one from here you can start uh, adding some settings. So we're going to go into settings. Uh, we're going to go into crop first. And here it says this is the tail, that's the body of the brush, and this is the head. We want the entire picture, so let's let just go full. There you go. So this is only this part that's going to be taken. We can You can even go even smaller. This is how real brush is going to look like. We want the entire picture, so let's just do this. Right, now we go into settings. So the default, uh, the size of the brush is 22. Let's make it 71. That is the size of our brush. Get this really cool texture. The flow is 100%. If we take off the flow, this is basically how much paint is going to go into your brush. We want it 100%. We can use RGB or black and white. I'm using RGB color. I'm loving this pink. You can do linear. So you can mirror the design so it does a little bridge. You can notice the little bridge here. If I go linear, that bridge doesn't exist. Or you can stretch your design. I love a mirror and linear. We're going to do mirror for this one. The design looks really good. Yeah. Now we're going to do the pressure size. So right now it's set at, at 20%. So if I go slide and I go really hard on my Apple Pencil, this is what it does. You can put the flow at 100% at the little side. So if you press, so if you don't press on your Apple Pencil, this is like not gonna be a lot of paint. But if you start pressing, it's going to add a lot of paint. But this is not what we want. We want we want flow everywhere. So we're gonna do like 0%. So it's it doesn't matter how hard you're pressing. It just Keep on, keep on going and this is what we want. For the pressure, we want to do the same. 
any pressure so we're gonna put it at zero so it's always the same pressure doesn't matter i like that sometimes my brush i really don't want them to have any pressure i'm not trying to do any lettering or calligraphy so uh, i just wanted to put it at zero i'm not really touching velocity ever then you can add some noise to your brush to make it even more textured i really like to add noise any brush i always add noise and some anti-aliases oh yeah you go you can just smooth those edges yeah really like that you can also make a fade or add a taper and here you go you make your brush this is really responsive and uh, this is really textured so we really like that and when you're done and you're really happy um, with what you've done we're gonna take off that fader and we're just going to go like this you can refine it so make sure you like everything maybe add more take some this is you take some of the um, picture this is how your brush is going to look so do you want it full do you want it a little bit like scattered now you can save and you can rename your brush we want it to be a brush so we give it a brush save and now our brush is here so it's going to take a little bit of time for fresco to understand that we just created a new brush but you will be able to use it into fresco quite soon so let's make another one really quick with the other texture that we took okay so once again we're gonna go super quick on this one it's just i wanted to show you another example because it's so easy to make so many brushes with so many textures that you find online let's go on the plus import image let's use our stone one we want everything on that picture i don't want to take off anything on that okay now i'm going to go into ribbon this one everything on that picture is setting i'm gonna put this a little bit bigger oh this brush is going to be so fun all right rgb flow do we want to do linear yes i love that all right we do not want any pressure touch I want my flow to be at zero. Save. Woohoo! Look at the cool brush we made. This is so textured, guys. Ooh, that's gonna be so fun to work with. Next, we are going to make a texture brush with this little drawing. Ah, let me show you how to do so. You're going to go into the image, uh, the camera with your um, iPad. So click on it it opens your camera so you, i'm gonna hold my ipad and we're going to take a picture of those dots so i only want the dots so i'm going to we're actually going to tap to freeze not take the picture so here you go i tap to freeze and i'm going to go into that my new thing things and i want to take off this color and I'm gonna go this up. So all I keep is this. So see what I did? I took off the background color and I only wanted those square. They don't really look like square, but yeah, there you go. So I think there is a part of this that doesn't really work well. I need to do it again, you guys, without having this black part, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to take this. There you go. That's way better. All right, do you see what I just did? I I could see like a little black spot that was actually my office underneath. It took on that and I really don't want that. So um, yeah, here we go, we are back at it. So now we can just take these. I'm gonna go really close to it because this is all I want. I want those, all right. So now I'm gonna go into settings. Here is my textured brush, so I'm gonna go into size, 33 sounds great, do linear, I'm, this one I'm gonna add some pressure to it, so it's gonna go like this, so that's, that's fun. Alright, happy with that. I'm gonna save it. Adobe Fresco understood thanks to uh, the cloud that I made a new brush. So we're going to open Fresco and we're going to see if we have our new brushes. So where to find your new brushes into Fresco. So when you have your Adobe Creative Cloud account and that you are connected through it through the Adobe apps, everything that you make in one uh, app is going to show off in the other app. This is just 
powerful. And when you make something in Adobe Capture, you for sure are going to find it into your library in every app you're going to use. So, for example, in Adobe Fresco, you will find your brushes into the brushes. That makes sense, right? So if you go into your pixel brushes and you go wide into the end, you will see a library brushes. And this is the brushes from your Adobe Creative Cloud account, your library. So here is the front brush we made with our little square over here, over there, right? That is our brush. So we did that and we're going to use our two other brush, the texture brush. So I made it red, let's make it black, but this is our um, textured brush and we can make it red and any other colors. How fun is that? Woohoo! We made that cool brush. This is this is our doing. And the last brush we made together, which was the pink hair. This one, uh, Rana, it's uh, yellow because I need yellow. But let's go back to more pinkish color. Look at this is the brush we created with that texture we find online. Now you can can make really nice things with this brush. And you can change everything, you guys. You can change the flow. You can change the color, as I said. You can change um, the size of the brush. And um, it looks like kind of a wood right now. You can also change the blend mode, put it behind, dissolve, whatever you want. That is your brush. If you guys are super happy because you learned how to make a new freaking awesome brushes into Adobe Fresco using Adobe Capture, uh, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you so, so much for watching, you guys. I can't wait to see you next Sunday. Until next time, take care. Bye.